Oh, I'm sorry, were you waiting for me to continue? Not until you like and subscribe. And I thought I told your ass already. So get it done. All right, so when we snap our line, what I typically do is I put my finger, my middle finger, center of valley, and then just mark roughly on the outside of this finger. So look, I'll come up here where it's not gonna be important because the cap's gonna be. I usually pick a shingle with the, the thin part on the end because I gotta cut that off clean for my first one. So look, I'm just gonna come down here and I'm gonna go my shingle, my next shingle is going to run level with that. So I just want to make sure that this gets below it, which it is. Okay. Some people just nail the tops of these. It's okay to nail them up here if you want, okay? A lot of people say, I think you can't. One of my old employees used to say that, but I've been doing it for years. I'd like the nail a little higher though. And don't worry about these nails blowing through. As long as you don't step on it, it ain't going nowhere. But you're gonna put plenty more nails than that when the shingles come through, you'll see. Yeah. You alright now there, Bear Cup? Yeah. His name's not Bear Cup, it's Boy Cup. We'll just give him yeah. a shit. Time since I did one like this. It's a little confusing. Cap will go through all of that. It's actually going to come through this too. Put a shingle below this so I don't have a nice slip. See, I got a little nick on that, better there than the shingle. See. Remember, and going what I was trying to say in the very beginning of this video, when you flush this square edge up with the shingle, that's going to be your best bet at keeping this roof square with that ridge, you know. Even then it's most times not even perfect.
Oh, and it lands perfect. Uh, just about. Stand up. You sit down and work like it's gonna take all day, then it's gonna take all day. Stand up like a man. I don't know what I was just doing. God, that shit fires me up. Stand the fuck up and work. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna use that. <laughs> Fellas, is it gay to sit down? No, it's, it's it's an efficiency thing. You sit down like it's gonna take all day. Guess what, brother? It's gonna. Nice. Oh, let's see how this is looking. Is it good and square? If it's not, I gotta drop back. Looks, uh, looks pretty good, but I'm gonna drop back. This side, this side needed to go down. Right, or did I make that worse? Barely a slip. Go ahead, show the camera my disappointing stuff. Yep. Oh, that one little spot. All right, let's do a left hand for him. Woo! I forgot to do.
do. Also, blue's easier to wash off, so use like a non-permanent, low-permanent chalk, and then just cut that little extra off like that. I don't usually put a piece on there too much unless it's through the, if it's through the thick part, I will. left-handed I skipped on the wrong side almost had a nail there Bad, but I need to do a little baby cheating. Oh, it's perfect. You gotta love that. Now this is what I was trying to tell Boy Cubby's got to do earlier. You have to line this up when you're doing it left-handed. You have to start from the top shingle, the bottom of the top shingle.
God damn. Oh, I thought it was gonna fucking crash on that skylight. It ain't funny, Bear Cup. Damn it, boy Cup. Coral. Coral. couple things about cap some of this I've already explained in the past but whenever you're running into a valley like this you're always gonna want the shingles to go this direction in especially in something small like this where winds not really gonna play a real big factor okay um, other than that you know you want to half it you want to get this this cap in half usually snap a line on something this small I'm not gonna snap a line though all right and I start like this Oh my knuckle. Anyway, we're gonna go like this. It really hurt because it hit me right where I was already cut. Oh, and I'm bleeding. Alright. We're gonna start like that. And I'm not gonna snap a line on something this small. I'm just gonna run it. Now the one thing I'm at a standstill on is whether I was going to go under this one or over it. I think over it's the answer. Make sure she's nice and square. It's kind of tricky. I always go under this one. When you're doing a standard valley where it comes up and over the ridge, is that a different spot of blood or what? But um. I usually go under this one, so I'm definitely going under this side. We're gonna go over this one. So we're gonna go about right there. All right. Now, a lot of times people on the other. I'm gonna try to avoid that. It's kind of tough to do with one person. But I'll give it a shot. Shit. Skip that for now. What I'm gonna do is I'm still gonna cut this again, but a little lower. And it sucks, usually you don't have a seam that lands right over the valley. But you'll see what we do for that in a second. All right, now we're cooking with Crisco. Now this one's just gonna go straight under and it's gonna cover up all of these cuts. I'm just tore up. 
What the fuck? God bless. What even happened, dude? It's like it popped my vein right there. Mm. Everywhere.